transpose of a matrix. Very simple phenomena, right? And very interesting to solve such questions. So what does it go? What does it mean? The transpose means, let's say if I have a given matrix. So of course that matrix will have some rows and some columns, right? So let's say if I have these rows here and if I have these columns here. Now when I want to take transpose, then what will happen? We interchange the elements of rows and columns. So what will happen? The first row will become now first column. Second row will become now second column. And third row will become now third column. And that's how it behaves. It's a very simple phenomenon. It's a very, very simple phenomenon. All right. So we say that, please note down the statement. The matrix obtained by interchanging rows and columns. Right? So first row becomes first column, second row becomes third column, second column, third row becomes third column. If I'm talking about a three by three matrix, let's say. So you just have to interchange rows and columns. That's all. So the new matrix will be called up as the transpose of the given matrix. Transpose. Yeah, that's the word that we have it. All right. Let's see this quickly. In the no normal representation style, let capital A is equal to AIJ M cross N. So the order of AIJ is M cross N. So I have M rows, right? And I have N columns, right? C O L S. So C O L S means for columns. You must be aware of that. Okay. So we say that it's transpose. It's denoted by A dash or A T. So these are the symbol. Please understand this, right? In fact, I'll change my color here so that you can distinguish with this. So this is the A transpose symbol. A prime, A dash, or A transpose, A T, right, is equal to B I J, and now the order has become N cross M. Of course, now when the number of columns, so earlier the number of rows were M. So when you interchange those rows with columns, so now the number of columns will become M. So now what has happened? N will become the number of rows, and M will become the number of columns. Right? So for example, let's say if the matrix A is of the order 3 by 4. Then we say that A transpose will be of the order 4 by 3. Yeah, that's how it works. You are just interchanging rows and columns, right? So if the order was earlier M cross N, so now it will become what? N cross N, right? Okay, so I hope that order thing is sorted. Okay, so I have written the general styles and the very general, general ways of it. Now, as I said, we interchange rows and columns. So what will happen? In general perspective, we say that every Bij will become equal to Aji for all i and j. What does that mean? See, if, if you just want to interpret it, that b12 will now actually be equal to a21. So the element which was the second row first column element, now it will become the first row second column element. Right? So you will be able to understand it even better when I give you some, some uh, simple example. It's a very simple phenomenon. Please do not get complicated by the general notation because sometimes these abstract or these general notation look a bit different, right? But they are really not difficult to follow. This is the simplest thing that you can understand. All right. So as I said, we are talking about Bij equal to Aji for all i and j. So for example, like B12 will become A21 or B31 will become equal to A13, something like this. Okay. Now let's see. Now let's see what, how this is happening. Let's say this is what my matrix A is. For example, right? It's a simple example that I'm choosing. Okay, so capital A is Z, A, X, the first row, and C, E, F, uh, the second row, 2 by 3. Now, you must have understood immediately that if the order of A is 2 by 3, what will be the order of A transpose? The order of A transpose, right, I'm calling this as A, T. So, I can immediately say that the order will become 3 by 2. So, the order of A was 2 by 3, so the order of A transpose will be 3 by 2. Now, let's make quickly write the element. So now the first row Z A X here will become the first column. So Z A X and the second row will become now second column that is C E F. Understood? Now look carefully, a quick relation which I was just talking about. So this element, if I talk about let's say C, right? So I know that C here is nothing but in terms of AIJ, if I talk about that is nothing but A21. But can you see here? This C here is actually nothing but what? It's actually, if I name it as uh, this matrix A transpose as B. So let's say if I'm calling A transpose as B, let's say, or general BIJ, and the order is 3 by 2. So this C is nothing but is equal to what? It is B12. Can you see the linkage? A21 is equal to B12. Has to be because just the position is changing, right? So for every Bij will become equal to Aji for all i and j. 
All right. 